A top NXT superstar confronts AJ Styles on Raw. Lacey Evans provides a huge update regarding her return to WWE, and a possible reason for Eric Bischoff's WWE return is revealed. What's up everyone, I'm Jose G and there's a lot to talk about in today's Sports Keto Wrestling WWE News Roundup. Never miss brand new content by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. A top NXT superstar confronts AJ Styles on Monday Night Raw. AJ Styles appeared on Raw and was seemingly ready for his match with Omos, which didn't happen despite being advertised. However, the former dealt with three other stars, and one of them happened to be an NXT superstar in the crowd. We are, of course, referring to Grayson Waller, who AJ Styles confronted in his recent NXT 2.0 appearance. While the latter received a great reaction, the same didn't happen for Waller, who was booed by the Detroit crowd. AJ called out Waller in the front row, he asked him to get in the ring, and they had a tense confrontation. The NXT star liked the idea of Monday Night, and Styles replied that this is where stars are made. Ultimately, the confrontation was interrupted by Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz. While Styles was initially supposed to face the latter, the plan abruptly changed. After the commercial break, AJ defeated Apollo Crews instead. The segment also marked a vital babyface turn for AJ Styles in a long time. Since 2019, he had remained as a heel. WrestleVotes reported that WWE has big plans for AJ Styles in Omos in early 2022. While they were supposed to face off on Raw, the match didn't happen as Omos was quietly pulled off the show. Once the situation gets cleared, we can assume that WWE will quickly book the Styles Omos match. While AJ is unlikely to win against his former protege, he'll embark upon another babyface run, a role that previously seen him enjoy his biggest success early in his WWE career. RK Bro's opponents for WWE's Day 1 is official after the RK Bronament final. RK Bro finally have new contenders for their titles. The Raw Tag Team Champions will face the Street Profits at the upcoming Day 1 pay-per-view. The champions hosted the RK Bronament earlier this month with four tag teams. While it narrowed down to two within a night, the tournament was delayed until the December 27th edition of Raw. The final bout between the Mysterios and the Street Profits was incredible. Although Ray and Dominic were on the cusp of victory, Montez Ford turned the tables to get their opportunity against the Raw Tag Team Champions. It will be interesting to see how the match plays out. RK Bro is undoubtedly the most popular tag team in WWE in 2021. The fan signs and the reactions on Raw for RK Bro say enough about how popular they are as they will be the favorites to retain at day one. A former champion wants to hit her new finisher on Charlotte Flair. Tony Storm was the latest guest on the Out of Character podcast with Ryan Santon to discuss all things WWE. When talking about her new Storm 1 DDT finishing move, Storm says she's only been able to use it twice so far and that she can't wait to hit it on Charlotte Flair. Tony Storm challenged Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship on the Christmas Eve edition of SmackDown and came up short. While Tony Storm will no doubt look to earn herself another shot at the championship, it likely won't happen anytime soon as Charlotte Flair has gone out of her way to avoid facing Storm for the championship in recent weeks on SmackDown. As of this report, Charlotte Flair doesn't have an opponent for this Saturday's Day 1 pay-per-view. We'll see if that changes between now and Saturday, given the changing landscape of the WWE roster due to the latest outbreak of COVID-19. Lacey Evans provides a huge update regarding her return to WWE. WWE superstar Lacey Evans has taken to Twitter to comment on her potential return. A fan recently posted a video of her daughter where the little girl was gifted a Lacey Evans figure for Christmas. The fan wrote a caption that suggested her daughter was excited for Evans' return to the squared circle as the little girl also questioned her mom about the WWE star's whereabouts. Lacey Evans reposted the same video and captioned it, Tell her I'm coming. The last time Lacey Evans was seen on WWE TV, she was in a storyline involving Ric Flair. On the February 15th episode of Raw, Lacey Evans announced that she was pregnant and took some time off from WWE. Prior to her pregnancy, a match was scheduled between her and Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship at Elimination Chamber, but was eventually canceled due to her announcement. 
a possible reason for Eric Bischoff's WWE return revealed. Eric Bischoff made a surprise return on this week's Raw as he officiated The Miz and Marisa's wedding vows in the closing segment. The WWE Hall of Famer's appearance came at a much needed time as the company is currently dealing with a widespread COVID-19 outbreak. On Sports Keto Wrestling's Legion of Raw, Vince Russo noted that Bruce Prichard might have made the call to get Eric Bischoff for the most recent episode of Raw. Here's what Vince Russo had to say about Eric Bischoff's WWE return in this exclusive clip from Legion of Raw. Uh, interesting, uh, you know, interesting uh, watch to see Bischoff uh, be in AEW a couple times and now in WWE. He's, my boy, Eric's making his rounds, man. Hey, you know, listen, Eric's making his rounds. Eric's making himself some money. Eric's staying out there and staying relevant. Uh, relevant. Hey, listen, bro, I, I was reading something, too, that, uh, you know, Bruce hasn't been around for a while. Well, Not was, just this yeah. TV. He hasn't been mm -hmm. around for a while. Bruce and Eric are very, very tight. Mm -hmm. So if, from what I understand, running the show tonight was uh, Johnny Ace and... Uh, the other writer um bro i probably a smart move on bruce to get bischoff there yeah you know kind of keep an eye on things report back to me if you mm. could help out in any way it was probably a good move with, <clears throat> with so many uh, people in management not there uh, mm. i'm i'm sure this was a bruce call and it was probably a good idea hmm yeah, yeah, good call. Good, yeah. Very interesting there. You can watch full episodes of Legion of Raw with Vince Russo and Dr. Chris Featherstone on our Facebook watch page and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching today's Sports Keto Wrestling WWE News Roundup. For exclusive content that you never want to miss, you gotta subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that notification bell so you never miss whenever we drop brand new content. Follow us on all social media and download the Sports Keto app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling.